let's take a look at a little bit of strap maintenance stuff. Um, this right here is some strap dressing and it seems to me that it's pretty much the exact same stuff as like uh, your, your regular old leather dressing. So if you have some leather dressing laying around the house, I'd say fine, just use it on your strap, it's not a big deal. You don't need to go out and buy specific strap dressing, in my opinion. Also, if you don't have anything like that, I found that just a little dab of regular old Vaseline rubbed in real thoroughly with the, the heel of your palm uh, works just fine uh, to condition the leather. Now there might be some leather experts out there tell me it's you know can't do that it's not good but uh, in my experience it's worked fine I've done that for this one and this one and it it increases the draw as they say which is the the way the the way the strap pulls on the the serrations of the razor blade uh, Vaseline works just fine for that I would say uh, mink oil you could do too and on this one just kind of as an experiment I tried uh, some mineral oil and that worked okay I've heard of people using olive oil uh, lots of different stuff some people say just the just the oils from your hand if you if you use your rate your strap every day uh, rub the oils from your hand on there a little bit uh, that'll work just fine so save money on the strap dressing if you have to use Vaseline and in the back there standing up uh, totally not necessary this is absolutely uh, superfluous in my opinion uh, back in the day I thought I needed it to get the uh, razor super sharp but mm, maybe maybe not I'd save my money I wouldn't get this unless you uh, have everything else and you just don't know what else to add to your uh, straight razor gear collection. This is a, a paddle strap and it's pasted with different abrasive compounds on each side ranging from a quarter micron all the way up to 0.5, 2.0 to 3.0. But uh, that becomes almost entirely unnecessary especially if you have uh, a pasted strap like this. Again, this is the Dovo. It comes pasted from the factory. Some of them don't come pasted, but you can you can buy your own paste uh, from like ClassicShaving.com or something like that for I don't know six or seven bucks. I mentioned honing earlier, and uh, here's a look at my hones that I use. I have. A 220 slash 1000 grit combination stone from Norton. It's a water stone. Same brand, same type. This is a 4000, 8000 grit. Here we have a Shapton glass stone. 16000 grit. And there's the, uh, that's what it's equivalent to in microns. 0.92. And there is a flattening stone. So when your stone gets worn down, you can use this to flatten it back out so you have a nice uh, even cutting surface when you run your razor across it. Now, which of these do you actually need? Well, I'd say to start out, none of these. Since you have your razor that was professionally sharpened um, and you have your strap with the linen back that was uh, rubbed up with some abrasive compound your razor is going to stay sharp for quite a while and that should give you some time to either decide that uh, you don't want to make the investment in a stone because you know straight razor stuff's just not really for you or that could give you some time to save money to buy a stone or, thirdly, you could decide if you just want to have your barber or your friend or whatever sharpen your razor for a few bucks every, every couple months. So, the hone, there's ways to get by without it.
personally, uh, I'm kind of independent. I like to do all my stuff myself, so I would recommend just getting the 8,000, 4,000 grit combination because if you have a razor that's already very sharp, this is all you need to maintain it. The the more abrasive stones like the, the 220 and the 1000 are more for doing repair work so you're only going to need one of these if you uh, mistreat your razor or get a chip in it or something like that. Or perhaps if you were to get a vintage one and you wanted to hone it on your own then you might need to start out on a more aggressive, uh, excuse me, a more aggressive slash abrasive stone like the 220 or 1000. But starting out, you want to learn how to hone. I'd just get one of these. Uh, I think they're 80 bucks, maybe 100. This I don't like. I don't think it works good. What I like to do for flattening my razors is I put a piece of sandpaper down onto a glass table and I draw a grid with a marker on my stone. And then I just rub the crap out of it on the sandpaper until the entire grid's gone, and that way I know it's flat. This stone right here, I would say, is superfluous. You don't need it. It will make your razor razor uh, marginally sharper. It will make it sharper, yes. So much sharper that you need to get a 16,000 grit stone? I'd say no. And lastly over here, I have this mineral oil. Uh, I typically don't use it for conditioning my strap that was just something I was trying out what I usually use it for is protecting my blade once I'm done using it so a lot of people have mineral oil around the house make sure you have some handy when you're done shaving you dry off your razor you put uh, some mineral oil on a q-tip and you pretty much just rub down the whole blade like you can probably see some uh, some oil glistening off of this one and drop a little bit in the pivot. Now you have to pay attention to what the handle material is because oils don't do so well with certain kind of plastics and stuff like that. But uh, this hasn't been a problem for me so I just soak this bad boy in mineral oil and uh, you know when the shower steams up and stuff like that and it gets hot in there it's not uh, rust in my blade. So mineral oil, get that, it's like a couple bucks. You probably already have it at your house anyways.